With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, the question is, a body of mass m is thrown straight up with a velocity v0. Find the velocity v with which the body comes down if the air drag is equal to kv square where k is the constant and v is the velocity of the body okay so suppose this is a body okay now this body is thrown upward with a velocity v naught okay so uh, let at any instant when the ball is traveling upward at any particular instant let us say the board velocity of the body is v okay and the direction is upward so now the air drag what is basically air drag air, air drag is basically uh, what see air drag is equal to kv square so what is air drag air drag is basically the air resistance okay so whenever the body is traveling upward the air drag or the air resistance will try to pull the downwards so the direction of the air drag will be downwards and value will be kv square and the second one will be the weight of the body that is mg let us say the mass of the body is m okay now from newton's second law from newton's second law we can write m v dv upon ds okay acceleration and acceleration can be given as if the velocity upward velocity is v in that case acceleration will be given as v dv upon ds okay this will be the acceleration so we can write m into a and a is equal to v into dv upon ds will be equal to minus mg plus a v square okay now this equation can be rewritten as we can write it as or ds minus ds equals to v dv upon g plus k v square upon m okay or we can write it as this one okay now when the body reaches the maximum height okay when the body reaches the maximum height when body reaches the maximum height okay so at that point the velocity of the body will be zero because at max maximum height the acceleration is maximum and velocity is zero we know that okay so now we will so we will integrate this equation okay with this condition with respect to this condition okay so integrating it we get we can write it as uh, v naught okay initially the ball was thrown with the velocity v naught and at the final point or at the highest point the velocity is zero so the limit will be v naught to zero v dv upon g plus k v square upon m okay that will be equal to minus ds and it will be zero to h okay we are finding the maximum height so it will be zero to h so by solving this we get h equals to m upon 2k log 1 plus k v naught square upon mg okay so let it be equation number one okay now when the body falls downward now when the if the body has reached the maximum height now it will fall downward so the net force acting on the body in the downward direction will be equal to see if the body is falling downward then then net force net force in the downward direction downward direction will be will be mg minus kv square okay because see this was the body now the body is falling downward and now if the body for body is falling downward the air drag will be acting upward okay will be acting upward and the downward force will be the weight of the body if the body is falling downward it means that mg is greater than kv square okay so we can the so the net force will be given as mg minus kv square okay so hence the net acceleration in the downward direction the net acceleration in the downward direction according to the 
second law will be given as now according to the second law the downward net acceleration in the downward direction will be given as v dv upon df equals to g minus k v square upon m okay or we can write it as ds equals to v dv upon g minus k v square upon m okay now the question says that the uh, that when the body falls downward okay falls downward with the velocity v okay falls downward with velocity v so uh, if we integrate and put the value of h see first of all we uh, this can be integrated as thus this can be integrated as ds so the body goes from 0 to h okay 0 to h equals to now here the limit will be 0 to v because at the highest point see at the highest point the velocity is 0 but when it reaches downward the velocity is v according to the question so the limit will be 0 to v so dv upon g minus k v square upon m okay so integrating this we get h equals to h equals to see this is the integration now if we put the value here see here we had the value of h uh, where it is uh, here here we found the value of h so from the equation one if we integrate and put the value of h we get v equals to v naught upon under root 1 plus k v naught square upon mg okay so basically this will be the velocity of the body when it comes downward Okay, thank you. I hope it's clear to you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.